Hello guys, Dhananjay here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I do live tech Q&A with Dhananjay on YouTube or how do I live stream on YouTube using OBS software. So there are a few things which are required. So first of all you will need to have a webcam in order to start the live stream and I have a Logitech C920 webcam which is present over here. It can record up to 1080p. If you need extremely good webcam then this is the webcam to go for. Otherwise there are a few other Logitech webcams which I can recommend and I'll give the direct link to buy these in the description box below. If you have a laptop then it must be having a webcam in the front but that's going to be a potato camera anyways but it will get the job done if you are okay with the laptop's camera quality. If you have external microphone then you can connect that to the USB port on your PC or laptop. If you do not have one then you can use the Logitech's inbuilt microphone which is pretty decent in my opinion but external microphone is always preferred. After this it's time to download the OBS software, download it from the website which is given in the description box below. Once you download it, simply install it. I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's really easy. So this is how the OBS software is going to look when you install it for the first time and uh, there is nothing actually. And in order to do a live stream, go into create a studio of your channel, then go into live streaming over here, then go into events and here click on new live event. This is what I prefer. You can give your desired title. You can select the timing that you want. I'm going to go with 11 a.m. You can add description tags and many things like that. And not only this, but you can change some advanced settings over here. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how you can do all this stuff. It's pretty easy. Then click on create event over here. It will say your changes are being saved. And the most important part of live stream is present over here. You have two options over here, create new stream or manage streams. You may not be having these many options because I have added them personally. And how do you add these options? For that, go into create new stream. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it 720p because I usually stream at 720p. If you want to write any description, you can do that. I do not want to do that. And now over here, I need to select the 720p option over here, which is 1500 kbps to 4000 kbps. And uh, if you want to enable 60 fps, you can do that. But my webcam does not support 60 fps, so I'm not going to do that. And remember that we selected 1500 to 3500 kbps. And here you will see multiple things, stream name, primary server, backup server. Most important thing is the stream name over here. Simply copy this thing and make sure that you do not give your stream name or stream key over here to anyone else. And if you click on view on watch page now, then it will show you that watch live stream is going to begin in 57 minutes because we selected the timing according to that. Now let's go back to OBS and we had copied the stream name or stream key earlier and we need to paste that in the OBS software. So for that, go into file, then go into settings, then go into stream over here. And in service, we are going to choose YouTube YouTube slash YouTube gaming and we are not going to change the server for stream key simply paste the stream key which we had copied earlier you can click on show over here just to confirm if the stream key is matching to the original one after that hit on apply and hit on ok that's pretty much it but if we select start streaming over here it will start streaming a black screen because we do not have our webcam we do not have anything else over here and for that we need to go in this box which is known as sources Click on the plus icon over here and yesterday we wanted to capture the display so we selected display capture. Now we want to capture our video and we have a video capture device that is our webcam. If you have a laptop then it will be your laptop's webcam obviously. Select video capture device over here if you want to rename it to something else. I'm going to name it Logitech C920. I usually do not rename anything for the sake of this video I'm doing that. Select OK over here. And it will say Logitech C920, hit on OK. And when you get a black output, even after connecting your webcam, then you will have to deactivate it and activate it once again. It should start working like this one. If it doesn't start, then change the USB ports which are present on your PC or change the USB ports which are present on your laptop. You can change the resolution over here. So I'm going to select uh, custom and I'm going to select 1280 by 720 over here and I'm going to hit OK. You can select 1920 by 1080. It's fine too. No issues over there. And as you can see, it is completely taken over by the webcam over here and we do not have the live chat on this side or on this side because we have not added that as of now. And I'm going to disable the video capture device because it looks a little bit odd to me. And now if you want to add YouTube chat section or Twitter tab over here, like the way I do over here, as you can see, I add Twitter chat over here. Then if you want to do this, then I'm going to show you guys how it, you can do that right now. So two people are commenting right now. 
uh you will see this in the next video okay so uh, this is the youtube chat right now and you can click on these three dots over here select pop-up chat and the chat will pop out straight away and now we can go into obs once again click on plus icon over here select browser source and uh, click on ok once again and now we need to give the url of this chat and i'm going to select this url over here copy that url paste it over here select ok and it will start showing the youtube chat and it is being directly shown from over here and as soon as i comment something over here let's comment hi and it will come on the live stream in few seconds so it it is about three to four seconds delay and in order to add twitter paste the link of that select ok and it will not show you anything because it will ask you to log in and it is not going to be possible for you to add the twitter window over here because it will ask you to sign in whereas the youtube chat window is a different thing it does not require any type of sign in so how do i add the twitter chat so i'm going to disable this window at the moment too and i'm going to click on plus right now and i'm going to show you guys how do i add the twitter chat and after that i go into window capture over here select window capture select this select ok and from here i can select any window that i want so as you can see chrome.exe means uh, it is a, it is a window which is run by chrome then we have explorer window because i must be having explorer window open somewhere i'm going to select this window which is chrome.exe twitter notifications select ok hit ok and as you can see we have the twitter window over here but in my live streams if you have seen carefully so in my live streams i choose only this much part how did i do that that's a good question and uh, oh my god i'm i'm like telling you guys all my secrets right now and just in case when you selected window capture but you selected twitter over here but it went to this another chrome window then how do you get back to the twitter window so for that open up the twitter window with where is it where is it okay so we remove the twitter window completely so once again open up the twitter.com over here and what i would recommend you to do is click click on twitter window and drag it out so that it will be a completely different window and this chrome will be a different window so once again click on obs click on window capture and now select the chrome.exe twitter google chrome it will get selected immediately and now let me just go into notifications because this thing is looking a little bit odd over here okay so we have got over here and uh, how do we select only this much part of the chat because this part is empty not necessary this i do not want to do anything with the hashtags so for that right click on window capture select filters and select add filter over here so when you want to add something click on plus and uh, that is how it works on obs so we now want to crop the window right now so select crop and pad select ok and we want to crop the left thing and the right thing so i'm going to add uh, 400 over here you can try different values 400 doesn't work so i'm going to try 550 maybe okay and from the right i'm going to write 550 once again that's that's not working then i'm going to write 650 and from right 650 once again so this is how it's going to look and if i add 680 that will be a little bit a little bit, little bit more accurate i'm going to do 670 and uh, i'll do 670 for the right left one too so this is how it's going to look 670 doesn't look that good i'm going to go 660 okay this is how it, it is going to look select the crop pad filter which we had added and from the top add maybe 50 or uh, maybe add uh, what, 100 okay that looks a little better let's add 150 now 150 is also not that great 140 is fine and we do not need to add anything from the bottom so this is how it is going to look and you can change this according to you so let's assume you do not you want only this much part you do not want this much or anything like that you can customize that in your own way if you want to expand this then uh, you can do like this and it will zoom in and if i click on video capture device now it will start my video 2 over here and my my face is not correctly placed right now it is so close to the chat which is present over here i this is a little bit confusing but i'm going to move myself from over here to this side i can do it by moving my chair or i want to sit over here only but i want myself on this side then drag the window over here like this and that's it this is how you can do it you can hide yourself you can get yourself you can if you want to zoom in more then you can do that too like only your face will be shown now okay uh, this looks a little bit odd so i'm going to go back to the normal position that we had okay 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 so this is how it is going to look and i do not need the browser source right now so i'm going to delete that for many people youtube chat is going to be the thing which they are going to use so i'm going to show you guys once again click on plus click on browser source copy this link over here then select okay over here paste it 
and that's pretty much it and you will start seeing your youtube chat over here but this youtube chat is like this big right now it's not needed now i want to change the way this window looks over here so for that i'm going to select on browser capture once again i'm going to edit these values i'm going to select width as 600 maybe and height as 800 oh no let's select width as 400 okay hit on okay and as you can see window capture will be changed so you can change this according to you so i can have youtube chat and twitter chat at the same time so okay here we go we still i still want the width of this browser window to be less than so once again double click on this thing width i want it to be 300 select okay and this is how it is going to look and i want to move myself to this side I'm going to click myself over here and this is how it is going to look if you want and that's pretty much it this is this is what you will need maximum you can do multiple other things such as you can change the color of this thing and I'll show it to you guys how it is going to look when we change the color so we can change the color of this YouTube chat to this thing also and if you want tutorial on that then surely let me know what that in the comment section below I do not use this thing as of now so I'm not completely sure if I will be able to show it to you guys completely and the live streaming is not going to start straight away we still need to do few things and this is why live streams are so difficult so and I completed around 40 live streams now going to file then going to settings then going to video over here and select the output scaled resolution I'm going to select 720p because my internet connection can vary from 2 mbps to 4 mbps anywhere between that so I have to select 720p because for a 2 mbps connection 2 mbps upload speed connection 720p works super fine so I'm going to select that and uh, when it comes to audio I'm not going to change anything when it comes to output video bitrate should be 2500 to 3500 if you select 4500 or 5500 it is not going to it it won't be able to stream if you have a weaker connection such as 4 mbps connection so i would recommend you to stick to 2500 to 3500 any value between that select apply select okay and that's pretty much it click on start streaming right now and yes one more thing if you <laughs> no it's still not done if you need to change your microphone from your logitech c920 or any webcam to your uh, external microphone such as this one then you still need to make few changes for that click on this setting icon over here select properties select the microphone which you want so i have selected the yeti stereo microphone over here you can select webcam mic microphone or any other microphone that you have i'm going to hit on ok and that's pretty much it we are good to go now we had already clicked on the start streaming button so it is already streaming how do you check if the stream is live or not so for that go into live control room over here uh, and uh, it will check the stream status and it is saying good 720p stream because we had started streaming over here but are we live yet no we are not live so i'm going to click on preview over here select ok over here it is going to take few seconds so now if we click on start streaming over here and click on ok we will go live and for the sake of this video i'm going to show you guys how to go live too so your event is starting okay that's good that's great stop streaming we have an option to stop streaming straight away and it will show you the timing from which it had started so 0 5 seconds right now so it had it has been there for 5 seconds so hey guys if you are watching this video then it's just a try you guys are going to be featured in my next video which is going to go live on the channel in maybe couple of hours so thanks a lot for the live chat bros uh, whoever commented over here thank, thank you guys and this is how you can go live if you want to stop streaming Simply click on stop streaming right now and it will stop streaming straight away. You can check analytics over here. How many viewers are watching right now? For me, it is zero, unfortunately. And that's pretty much it. If you want to see if the live stream is going correctly or not, then you can click on this view on watch page over here and it will take you to the watch page directly. So as you can see, it is showing me right now. And uh, yeah, it is working good, I guess. If you want to stop the live stream, click on stop streaming, click on OK over here and it will stop the live stream straight away. And for all those guys who were requesting me to do this video since a very long time, finally I did it. And if, I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, queries or you are happy that I made this video, then let me know about that in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon. And if you have any YouTube video suggestions for me, Comment section is the best way to tell me. I will most probably make those videos. So yeah.
I hope this video got recorded because it is like it took me so much time to record this video. Oh my god. So yeah, bye.